Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us today at Brando Consulting. In this video, we're going to take a look at solving a unit of measure problem. So, in this example, <coughs> we purchase a perfume ingredient from an invent from a vendor and for the longest time we've been purchasing this in gallons but this vendor called us one day and said he's only selling it in kilograms now not in gallons so we'll come here and click edit click on the unit of measure drop down and you'll see that kilograms is not an option so what I've done is I've gone to the unit of measure screen under setup unit of measure I've gone to kilograms and I created a conversion to gallons well then why doesn't it show up you might say we have the unit of measure conversion from kilogram to gallons well you'll notice back here on the part this part here is in the unit of measure the base unit of measure of fluid ounces and currently the only conversion from kilograms is to gallons so to make this easier we're going to add one more conversion from converting kilograms to fluid ounces fishbowl says hold up kilogram is a weight fluid ounce is a, a volume type unit of measure we say yes we know that but we're still going to do it anyways and then the next step we want to look up what the conversion uh, multiplier is so we'll go to our trusty friend Google and say convert kilograms Oops, if I knew how to type kilograms to fluid ounces. And Google will give us the conversion. One kilogram of water equals 33.81 uh, fluid ounces. Now, Google makes a good indication here that water may weigh different than what fluid we're using. Uh, we're using perfume. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to keep going on, but um, make a note that uh, your conversion between your fluid to fluid ounce from weight to fluid ounce may be a different conversion factor. So 33.81 fluid ounces equal one kilogram of water. So we'll say one kilogram is greater than one fluid ounce and the multiplier is 33.81. Finish. Save. Nothing happens unless you save. Let's go back to the purchase order. Click edit. Look at the drop down and voila. Now we can convert it to kilograms. And Fishbowl smart enough to say, wait a minute, if we're converting the unit of measure, that means the pricing is probably different as well. I'll go ahead and say, yes, please, uh, update the price. And now we're looking at kilogram prices. I'll need to double check this with the vendor to make sure that this price is what he's charging with kilograms. Once we issue the purchase order, then at that point, Fishbowl, if you have this, uh, a setting set up, Fishbowl will automatically add that to the part screen under the vendor tab. And next time you create a purchase order, it will default to kilogram if you change the default. To change the default, click edit and check the default checkbox. Click OK. Click save. And now we're ready to go. Thank you, vendor, for changing the unit of measure on us. Gosh, that was fun.